Hey dudes, what's happening? This is Trent. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a custom chain brush in Sketchbook Pro. We start by clicking on these fancy little tabs over here. That gives us the brush properties and the brush library. Then I'm gonna cycle through. I'm gonna find a brush that's got some similar features to what I'm looking for. You'll notice that the brush properties change depending on which brush I have selected. This one here actually is pretty close to what I'm looking for. So I go over to this handy tab and you'll notice that I can copy that brush. I make my duplicate and that's gonna be basically the one that's gonna be my brand new custom brush. You can see that it's got a lot of the features that I'm gonna to wanna to change here. And you can find a, a brush that has some of the smearing or texture or other things that you're looking for. I'm gonna condense a lot of these options here because I'm really only gonna mess around with the nib for the most part. And you can see here uh, where I'm gonna go in and grab a regular brush. And this is where I'm gonna draw the brush shape that I want, my chain link. And it really doesn't matter which brush you use to create the shape because we're really just gonna capture it and that's gonna become the shape of our new brush that, that we're gonna want. And we can add as much detail as we want to this. You could technically have a series of faces. Um, you could use, you could create your own sort of cheap brushes uh, for faces at different angles or hands or other things that you may have created. And I'm really just starting to dig into creating my own custom palettes. Uh, but for now, we go back to selecting our custom brush and then we click on this capture button down here. And then we resize our brush outline uh, to capture as much of that image as we, we can. And then we click and it's suddenly you'll notice that that is now the shape of that brush but there's a bit of a problem. They're a little bit too close together. So what we wanna do is sift through our menus over here. You can find the spacing option in the stamp section of the brush properties. And you wanna increase that slider so that those brush chain links are appropriately distanced. And uh, this will adjust with the size as well. Uh, so you can see that you can get uh, various different, uh, you, it'll work with any size that you want to lay down your chains at. Now let's say that I wanted to change the thumbnail for this, uh, the little image, that, the preview image. You just go down here to the use shape as icon and that'll suddenly replace it in your stack and in your brush panel. And you could of course create your own uh, brush panel. You could create a whole new set of brushes if you wanted to. Uh, this is part of where Sketchbook Pro gets very customizable. But let's say that I wanted to add just a little bit more detail to my brush. Let's say that I wanna actually have some form changes and just a little bit more detail in, in that chain. Uh, so every link uh, will essentially have a little bit more detail in it. Now you go in with any brush that you want uh, and you just go in and, and render it, change. So then we just go back into the capture and just as we did before, we capture that brush, but you'll notice, oh, I'm drawing with white paint here. Let's go back to black. You'll notice that it didn't actually affect it. It didn't actually change it. Uh, be, that's because there's a key thing that we missed here and you have to go down here and click on the with color button. Now, when we draw it, every one of our chain links reflects that. And what that means is we actually paint it in white. So you could actually create color, uh, custom color brushes as well. Uh, if you wanted your chain to always be red or something like that. And there will be a problem. Sometimes you'll notice that the chain links are broken. You'll have to go in and fix those, but this still saves a ton of time. Anyway, I hope this helped you. If you'd like more tips, please subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of tutorial videos for Sketchbook Pro and many other different tools and starting to delve into some 3D stuff now lately too. So uh, if you enjoy learning about how to draw, please subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. All right, ciao.